everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 210. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm the super suck lord. Woohoo! Back on the couch. Third, third time. time. Third time. Third hole. That means you're a regular. Right. And so we don't call you a guest anymore. We just call you names. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's start off as always by telling you what Toy Break is in case you've never seen the show before, which I can't imagine. Right? Some, somebody might be new for the first time. You think? Yeah, tell them what we do. Well, Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including reviews and news about designer vinyl, action figures, plush, how-tos, events. We bring you artists and interviews and all sorts of weird craziness in the world of toys. Uh, let's start by thanking our sponsors also. Okay. Art Attack Toys. Button Lab. Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. ESC Toy. ESC toy. More art than toy. <laughs> Superpower collectibles. DKE toys. Uh, oh, uh, shout out to that. <laughs> 3D retro. Paysaver. Grumpy Bert. And Happy Panda toys. Thank you so much to our sponsors. Don't forget to support them because they support the show that we bring to you. Uh, we also have a contest going on. Would you like to tell us about it? It's the Toki Doki Jacket Contest brought to you by 3D Retro. Tried on um, by Scott Tolleson. It's a small Toki Doki. <laughs> uh, was it Iron Man? What, what was on it again? There was like Iron Man, know, a bunch and of Thor, little things. And a bunch of those Marvel. Toki Doki types. hoodie. Um, if you want it, go to the forum, post in the contest section, uh, post a picture of your jacket or hoodie that you want to replace with this fine garment. When's Deadline is April twenty fifth. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have for one week. I believe when this goes up, uh, the GID OMFG. You can go support and pre order. The Glow in the Dark OMFG Series 1 on Kickstarter. Link in the show notes. Uh, we're, we're making more OMFG and Glow in the Dark. What's better than that? When in doubt, G-I-D. <laughs> when in doubt? When it's pretty cool, make it cooler. Exactly! That's what I say. Right. I mean, Glow in the Dark doesn't help something that's whack. It makes it whacker or just more desperate. But if something's good or dope, as they say, and then <laughs> the you make it say. in Glow in the Dark, then it's even doper. It has that. It has that sort of excremental. I mean, exp <laughs> exponential factor. <laughs> to it's it. been the most requested so far. Yeah. Color. So. Yeah. Well. We figured. Let's do it. What's better though than like when you turn the lights out and like there's just these little spots all over your place that are and like then, and you're glowing. not scared anymore. Exactly. You're like, oh, I feel safe <laughs> mm -hmm. with my toys surrounding me. Mm -hmm. So you're back on the couch. Somehow. What? I well, it was because we threw you in the trunk and yeah. dragged you over here, but. <laughs> How are things going? What's new in the world of the Super Suck Lord? Well, you know, I figured you were going to ask that. Um, I should have totally not asked the whole no, show. No, uh, well, it's, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I didn't necessarily come here to talk about myself, but since you brought it up, you know. Yeah. Um, no, um, I'm actually out here more for vacation than anything else. I'm here nice. with my lovely, wonderful girlfriend, Samantha Yay. Parducho. We came out here because she's from here, and she, we came out here to... A little R and R, a little S and M, you know, and um, a little chill I will I, and uh, I figured while I was here, I'd just come see everybody. Yeah, but and the Suck Lord had a pretty big 2011, you know. It was uh, I was on a TV show, and I got a lot of action off of that, and then the Suckathon, and a lot of just you know Heard the, about that. Heard that the, su good. the Suck Lord was in the news all the time, especially in the second half of the year, and he came out with some great hits and you know and just like really milk the shit out of his most recent 15 minutes of fame and it was fantastic but you know that wave crested and i uh, you know sort of retreated back into my um underground layer to sort of work on infrastructural things so i haven't really been publishing any recently you know it's okay. like been working on my, my my inner workings and just trying to figure out what the next move is and I came out here to L.A. but mostly just to hang out and relax. But I figured while I was here, I'd just make a fucking figure. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, because I'm doing, <laughs> I, you know, I'm doing something. Because that's what most people do, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I just figured <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I don't have time to catch up with every single fucking person I know when I come out here. So it's like usually Patrick, you know, lets me take over Monkey King for an evening and lets me have just sort of an open court you know, so I can hold forth and meet and greet my fans and my, you know, we friends get, and acquaintances. We should get jesters. Uh, I, I think I've got that covered. But, um, <laughs> and I figured if I'm going to show up, I may as well have something to sell. So I may, I came, I just came up with this new figure. Uh, I haven't packaged it yet, but it's just the, uh, 
It's the Sucklord 43, because it's actually oh, my wow. it's actually my birthday, and the Sucklord likes numbers, so I named it the Sucklord 43. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> and then here's the here's the package. This uh, is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, I you know whenever I'm at, when, whenever I'm down, I always make a Sucklord figure when like I don't know what the fuck to do, and I'm like sort of, you know, it's like. <laughs> Cause I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what to do, and it's like usually when I'm in when I'm in doubt. It's like this is actually the first Suck Lord in a suit figure. I mean, I have been sporting that the suit for a while, so this is the first Suck Lord in a suit. And what I usually do when I'm like trying to like hit reset or whatever, come out fresh, I always go back to my original Suck Lord '66. Okay. It was the first figure I ever put out, so I always just reimagine it in some way. But it's weird because you'll notice like this. All these wrinkles and all this damage on the on the package I wanted to make it look shitty you know and I had to like try to make it look shitty because the first one I did of this in this style in 2004 just looked shitty because of the way I made it and it's like now I feel like it, I can't make shit shitty anymore it's like if shit got too nice and then trying to make it suck is becoming harder and harder you know and it's just like I feel like this is I like it but it's very insincere you know I feel like if anyone can do it though it's you it's just tough because you know I've gradually upgraded my quality and then it's like I find myself now having to sort of res down you know when I make a toy and it's just like that's so weird so it's pretty insincere actually I like the bubble the, but the peg so holes of... cut wrong at the yeah. top and like yeah I mean and it's just still an asshole still an asshole on the back yeah why not I mean it's like I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie to you I'm, I'm, I'm still sort of I'm still sort of figuring out exactly I know I have to do something new and something different. Right. I can't just keep doing the same shit all, all, all the time. And I haven't totally figured out exactly what that is. So in the meantime, I'm just going to make this repetitive bullshit and you're still going to fucking buy it. Because <laughs> it's still cool, even when I'm questioning myself and you know, doing shitty imitations of my own stuff that sucked in the first place. It's still better than your shit, so <laughs> whatever. And these are going to be $75. It, available only at Monkey King on Friday. This this will probably yeah, it'll be it'll, it happens. It'll, it'll, it'll sold out. It'll yeah, they all sold out. You weren't there. I got my dick sucked and um and I made money and Patrick made money and everyone involved made money and it was fucking great. And I'm still winning even when I'm like, "Oh, who am I? What am I doing with my toys? I'm so sick of myself. I'm still winning." <laughs> well, Charlie Sheeny right there. You know, Charlie Sheen doesn't own winning. He just made it popular. It's a good point. It's true. It's a good point. And whatever, I can, you know, whatever. I, I'm not mad at him. <laughs> um, anyway, that's enough about me. That's what I'm up to. Is there ever enough about you? I think we just hit it. Depends. We just hit it. We just hit it. I was gonna say it depends who you're asking, but I'll go with that. <laughs> no, that's good. It's. I mean, everyone else is going to be trying to make Star Wars figures now, so it's good to see that you, they? Might, you might try and move past that and do something different, or maybe yeah. you'll just keep doing that. And it's always make it something to style. come back to, yeah. but it's like I'm going to try to expand. I just don't know what it is. I'm, I'm going to put out a new episode of Toy Lords of Chinatown. It's like my next big thing. Nice. And it's just gotten out of hand, you know, it's just like it's 20 minutes long now. It's like almost the length of like an episode of a TV show. How long was that That's first one? Wasn't that the long? first one was about seven and change, and then okay. the next one was 12 and change, and now this is 20. Wow. And the story's getting more complicated. You're on the verge of making a movie. I have 40 minutes of a, of, of a show already, so, you know, whatever. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if people like it or if it's any good, but I enjoy making it, so... And there's, that's that's the main. That's all that really matters. Well, it's part <laughs> I mean, it's of cool it to have other people and like it too. Where can people but... go to go see all the stuff and buy your shit? Suckadelic.com. I mean, it's just Suckadelic. Just links to all my bullshit. My YouTube page, my Twitter. I don't even have a website anymore. I got I caught some malware, you know, and I just deleted everything and just left the store up and was like, fuck you. And it's well, like, what do you need? I don't know. It's just like you don't really do you need a website. It's all it's all it's, dis all, Twitter it's now. all disseminated. Facebook here's my Flickr. Here's my Tumblr. Here's my Tumblr. As long as you can you link back to a store, that's oh, all. No, you I do, need. but yeah. it's pretty much naked women. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have some of that. Not that that's a bad thing. Naked it's women just... and Star Wars shit. You know. <laughs> can't nice. see Fluc with fluctuate that. back, but no, I can't either. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> keep it simple, stupid. That's probably the takeaway. All right, well, should we uh, talk shit about some other people's toys now? Yeah. Let's do some reviews. What do we got first? 
This one's you, because it's your newfound passion. This is now my second G.I. Joe figure. I know. You're Third, if you straight... count the one that was a gift to me from Slick. From... George never had G.I. Joe growing up. How well, weird is that? Well, it's unusual. Why it's not? Unusual. I, I don't know. I had Star Wars and He-Man. G.I. Joe didn't interest me. I had those things, too. I wasn't interested in war toys. I didn't care about G.I. Joe. Star Your Wars? I, they were aliens Star and creatures. <laughs> I didn't want human wars. Yeah, okay. I hear that. <laughs> um, so... I haven't actually taken this out. I just pre-cut the thing. If you want to see that what card, is the it's pretty character? cool. This is the zombie viper. Why Obviously. does everybody have to have some zombie shit? Zombies are awesome. Because people but, buy it. So what? You know, fucking sushi is awesome. I don't need a sushi GI Joe. There's a whole bunch Maybe of sushi a, toys. What about Ono Sushi? I'm not saying there shouldn't be any sushi toys. I'm just saying maybe it's a bad example, but not just everything. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Too many maybe zombies. there needs to be a zombie. Suck Lord. Well, you already looked at this, so let me see. It. I actually yeah, have not. I, oh. I have not opened it up this yet. This tentacle hand is pretty awesome. This is so far away from what I think of when I think of G.I. Joe. Well, G.I. Joe has meandered often into strange territory and come back. You know, like that Cobra Law shit. Oh, yeah. I love those figures. They're stupid as all hell, but they're cool. Well, here's the dude. And... All right, so why are there zombies? Are all the G.I. Joe figures turned into zombies? Or? No, no, just no, this one dude. Are, oh, so this, this is, is some art. Cobra experiment that fucked up. Or Using made. Compound X or something like that. Now, does Cobra aim to turn other people into zombies, and this is just their experiments, or are they actually using these zombies as an A army, or, or both? Infantry, tr infantry troops, troopers who have been given a mysterious chemical substance, Compound Z, has turned them into drones. Wiped of thoughts, blah, blah, blah. They retain their co skill at combat. In fact, their desire to fight has been increased, making them more dangerous than before. It doesn't say that they change other people into zombies. This is kind of cool. It's a nice looking figure. Yeah. Look at this. This is fun. Oh, yeah, the little IV. I always like when it comes with medical equipment. Yeah, right? Yeah. And it's like those Bioshock toys? Yeah. Really, really well cool. over that. Well, I don't know. What is that helmet going to protect him from? <laughs> He's a zombie. He's already <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I thought, what, when cool. I didn't see that it was a zombie, I thought those were like tree hands or something. Like, I guess they're like just I don't get why they're hands. technically, I guess maybe that's part of something. He's but. further mutating. Yeah. Into that tree guy, with, or that guy with the really long fingernails? This is your first G.I. Joe? Second. Second now. What was the first one? It's actually on the table over there, that orange jumpsuit. The like, hazmat. Uh, is that hazmat? Barbecue? Oh. Hazmat guy. Barbecue, I remember. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. It's on the front of it. What this and Steve. up until this point, up at Hazard Viper, up until this point, you had no interest in GI Joe until you saw this. Yeah, that's peculiar. I still don't really care about GI Joe. I just like that he's in a cool hazmat suit, and this is a cool zombie. Do you have the Playmobil hazmat? Uh, no, set? I don't. Oh, I didn't know they had a hazmat set. Oh, they've got it all. Playmobil surprises me every time I see it. Well, that's a nice segue that you didn't know anything about. I'm glad, I'm glad we're talking about this cool <laughs> shit instead of all that stupid designer bullshit that everyone's so excited about. All right, well, since you mentioned we Playmobil. We all sorts of toys, all sorts of stupid shit on this show. Um, Sam, can you roll me a joint? Have you, have you seen the Playmobil figures? Of course, I have a shitload of them. Blind can bags? Can you twist me, twist me one up? Not the blind bags, but, um... What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look at all these weird batteries. What are these? Are these... Oh, you gotta give me some of these. Okay. Can I have a couple of these? Yeah, a battery? go for it. Yeah, for my battery collection. I'm just taking all of these. Oh, you have no. a battery collection? Yeah. I just... Anything that has unusual or name brand or weird designs on them, I keep Go for them. it. Eventually, there's gonna be a big show. I'm actually, th well, I don't want to blow it up, but I'm going to do fuck with batteries. That's something I've been thinking about. Which one is That's this? That's something new. All right, wow. so these are blind bagged. Look at this freaky cake. Have you bought cake. any of these? Not the blind bags. I just buy, I buy, I, I buy like the ghost pirates. I buy. Those are awesome. Yeah, I buy all the antiquities, the medieval shit. I buy, uh, I don't buy any, I don't buy any, cont oh, the dragon world shit is great. All the characters. This is Zorro, dope. This weird scarecrow is dope. The axe man is amazing. Uncle Sam, cool. Heavy metal dude. Ooh, boxer. Is this a boxer? He has no, the same it's... robe. He's like got the rocky robe. What is this, this one? Is it looks like, like a mummy? A mummy. It looks like a mummy. Mummy with a stick. Yeah, this is great. Wow, these are evolved. I never I get kid. sick of this shit. The pizza chef. Mario. I know, like pizza. 
That's amazing. Rugby player. This is great. Yeah, no, I love Playmobil. And these are three bucks each. I love Playmobil. <laughs> I think it's one of the greatest toys ever made. It's a, you know, it's weird about it's like the the play. I mean, I have a lot of the play sets. Mm -hmm. They're just so well made for like a hundred and twenty bucks. You get the giant pyramid. It's like this fucking big. I've never seen that. And it has buttons that open trap doors and stairwells turn inside out. You can take it apart and there's little tombs and hidden shit and mummy and gold and just like all kinds of shit. And it's only a hundred and twenty dollars and it's made out of the super, uh, excuse me, durable plastic. And it's like, how can this even be financially feasible? Cool. He's what is this character? He's some kind it's of like a Grim Reaper, skeletal yeah, but he warrior, looks like underworld dude. guy, or something. Playmobil is so much darker than oh, any other toy it's line. It's incredibly dark out there. The spy world. Have you seen that? Where they have like the it's like a fancy apartment, and then it has the the, the wall panel slides away, and it leads down to the secret high tech lab. You know, with no. all these jet skis and all this <laughs> weird tracking devices, and and it's like all these spies, and they're fighting like the mad scientist that's making all these robots. That has this play set of this weird science lunatic making these synthetic robot men. It's like oh, it's this so dope. What do you think about Imaginext? I love that shit too. I see. I feel like Playmobil and Imaginext have it when it comes to like. I mean, I would argue that Playmobil goes way further. It definitely goes further. I just. Uh, Playmobil has less licenses, I think. Yeah, than and Imaginext. I, I would like to. I would. Yeah, I like. That's what Which I like about Playmobil. Which is actually a good thing because you get like these crazy weird. Well, yeah, there are there are archetypes, and they don't give you any names or backstories or any of that shit. You know, what's also I notice that's interesting about Playmobil is that it's it's manufactured, I believe, in Malta. It's not made in China. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, Malta. That's, that's like a that's in off Spain, isn't it? It's yeah. I, they must have this gigantic factory where they make this shit. I've never heard of that, but it's 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 just some. I think that's noteworthy that it's not made in China. It is noteworthy because what isn't made in China? Exactly. Now? I mean, I think they've been doing it forever. Weird. God, I would love what to. I would love to design sign. for Playmobil. Let's make that happen. Yeah. Can you? You know anybody? Um, we'll figure that out. Anybody know anybody at Playmobil? Playmobil should fuck with us. I have some good ideas. I think you do have some good ideas for them. Thank you. Do we have any more shit down there? We do. We got a bunch more stuff. Well, Let's since you said designer uh, here's the, yeah, toy shit. Let's do a designer thing. <laughs> oh, this thing. Okay. Now you're on it. Uh, st it's called Stomper. Uh, this is the black and white. I saw I that this at, is, at Doves. This is the white one. So I'm going to call this yet another DIY. Yeah. It's a plat blank platform toy, right? Yep. At is. least they got the idea right, though, this time. That what do you mean? It's very simple shape. It's not. Yeah, and this flat panel is always useful. I mean, exactly. the, why the Mad L is so popular is because it has that that flat front. Yeah, it's use. It's useful. The big it's... flat bottom. But like, I see so many toys come out now that are like, oh, I'm a I'm a DIY, but it's completely sculpted and it's got. Yeah, I mean, this was designed to be to it. be that. Do we need another one? I would argue no, but. I would you argue know. that as well, but. But it'll do, I suppose. I feel. Doesn't he look like what's that guy's name? Baby cakes. Brad Neely's character? Yeah. A little bit. It looks cool upside down. It oh, looks yeah, like a whole right. different thing upside down. Not necessarily a better thing, but a different thing. Here's the thing about this. 3.5 inch vinyl. Uh, this is by Rocket Design. It's 20 bucks. That's a lot, right? I feel like that's a lot for this size. I feel like that's a lot. But, who knows? It's like an indie company, though, right? Yeah. Simple, but I mean, there's I not much more to say about it. Wish them all the luck in the world. Have you seen anyone do customs of these? I have not. Haven't even seen a custom yet. Why I'm don't you sure fucking somebody... idiots do one and send it in, and we'll check it out and tell you if it's good or not. Do what he said. <laughs> or at least post a picture on the forum if you. Yeah, that's what that's what I meant. <laughs> no, I don't mean send, send in the actual thing. I meant post a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right, do you want a, a review or a blind box? Is there uh, more shit to review? Oh, there's more shit. Let's do blind. Let's do blind box. I first. have a we'll few take things a to box. review as well. Oh, okay. Good. Well, let's do blind box. Okay, first. let's do blind box. Right. This is a fun one. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. Have <laughs> seen these yet? Garbage pail kids. But Magnets. they're garbage pail kid magnets with a whole bunch of other weird shit in here. Oh wait, you want this one? I don't care which one I get. Okay. Which one do you want? You want that one? All right. Yeah, I want that one. All right. This is crazy. They're garbage four magnet cards with gummy candy. Two ninety nine. Ew. <laughs> the gummy candy is a severed foot and what looks to be either an eyeball or some sort of Danish. 
<laughs> and then it has the magnet cards, which are pretty dope. They and they also like, got a severed foot and a Danish. They look Thank like, you, Matt Terry. They look like the classic, uh, classic garbage kill kids. I don't know what series they're from. Oh, what is that? Are these new characters or redos of the I classic? Think they're just oh, I got a heart. I'm and sure an they're eyeball. just redos, but I've never seen this one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tony Starch. Oh, that's probably <laughs> new. I got Potty Scotty, which is a kid in the toilet bowl. <laughs> Curious Kate, which is a deranged cat eating its own brain. Good stuff. You can't really go wrong with this crap. You want these? Put them on the fridge. I've never, uh... Which Beast one you get? Beastie Boyd. Gary Goyle. Beastie Boyd. That's good. Phantom. Where do you see Beastie Boyd? Oh. Right here. And Noah Constrictor. That's funny. I'm not sure why these exist. Those cause... are nice chunky magnets. Yeah. They're not those bullshit little thin ones. Oh, it looks like, like there's 16 total. So. I'm just curious as to like why these even exist. I what guess. Do you mean? Why shouldn't they exist? Well, I mean, they're like, did you ever look at a garbage pill kid card and go, oh, gosh, I wish I had a magnet in no, that? No, but now that awesome. I see them as magnets, I feel satisfied. <laughs> well, I feel like, okay, I will, I feel like I'm going to just go home and put these on my refrigerator as if it was the most natural thing in the world. <laughs> so you know? the product fit into your life well. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't require much rearranging to accommodate this, but. <laughs> You know, um, yeah, I'm so going to, I'm, I'm going to the absorb these into my routine. I have a refrigerator in my studio. I have one in my home. I can maybe evenly distribute them amongst the two. You could. You could. <laughs> and I'd be, uh, I'd be content with that. And then my guests would come over and they'd be, they would remark, oh, you have garbage pail kid magnets. How, I love those. <laughs> And I can feel satisfied. That's, I can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> That's all I want. Okay, That's well, all I want. you can go get those yourself. We got them at Target, so I'm sure well, they're I'll pretty much everywhere. Well, I'll probably just take a couple more of yours. <laughs> or I'll be happy well, with... they can go get theirs. Oh, yeah, they can do whatever the hell they want. Here, has a double. You can have that one. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the gargoyle covered with bird shit. Perfect. Perfect. Per yeah. <laughs> Well, those are cool. I don't know why it comes with this candy. I could do without that. The candy looks disgusting. I'd rather, just, I'd rather just buy the... They probably didn't know what else to do with the candy, so they figured, well, if people buy these stupid cards, we can unload our candy. Isn't there something about, like, <laughs> you can sell them in different places if it's packaged with candy, or... Who the fuck? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, who knows Some... what the rule is. I mean, it's... I don't fucking know. I, 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 I could go into all kinds of nerdy trading card lore, but I won't. Yeah. Let's do some new reviews, then. Um, Shall we talk about these? Yeah, let's do it. Have you seen? This is kind of a new thing. These. New big these thing. These are your things. No. no. Oh, these are the ones that are ripping your shit off. Uh, kinda, but a little bit. No, Jack's not as bad as the one that. Not as bad as the ones we reviewed previously. Well, are you're, we you're also ripping off the muscle things. Yes. Right. So these are also doing that in a diff slightly different, a little more obvious way. And those were ripping off. And these are just Those trying to be zombies. Go on. That's Wait, you sauce. made these zombies toys back, back in the day. You had a series of zombie figures, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We started zombies. I don't know, three or four years ago. Do you still make those? Yeah. 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 Currently, still make these them. Are, I think these look cool. I like the Egyptian pharaoh guy. I mean, I don't know. Like, I personally just think zombies. I'm over zombies. Like everything is zombies, and it's like okay, you know. It just seems too easy to me. There are definitely a lot of zombie like things. This happening. mailman zombie can suck it. <laughs> so this is a cool one. It's like some guy coming out of a nuclear waste barrel. Oh, I like him. And I'll take the the pharaoh zombie for crystal pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, these are cheerleaders, boxers, and karate kid. Out of here. Football player without the head is dope. They actually have really funny names. Too, I mean, like. did you want to diss these? No, I no, actually really like these. I like these a lot. This is I actually, it's funny because these are sort of what George and I kind of wanted to make our zombies like, but ours ended up being a little bit more like army men. Yeah. And these we are, wanted them to be more like this, a little bit more cartoony. I kind of dig these, actually. I, like I mean, I don't know what the hell too, I'd do with them. I'd probably just stick them somewhere in a box and be like, oh, cool, 50 years later these when I'm exist. an old man. Here, look at these ones, too. Who's this guy? Pizza guy with a brain in the thing. Astronaut zombie. Fuck him. <laughs> so now I mean, these you don't need to have them all. are called slug zombies, which I stand do. for scary little ugly guys. 
You have to have all of these? Yeah. He's so I'm not taking these then. I no, guess. I have eight doubles in here. Which are the ones that I can have? Oh, you have a double of this guy. Can I take the doubles? Yeah. You have the Pharaoh guy. These are the two I really like. I don't think that's the best acronym ever. Scary little ugly guys. And then this guy well, in the coffin. These kind of figures are called slug figures. Right, right, Why? Because right. they're a slug? They're just... They're just a one, one shot, one, shot, shot, one yeah. color. Slow. That's what they're. That's kind of what they're known as yeah, in the industry. Yeah, getting over. Yeah, okay. So I mean, it's cool that they took that name and made it something. Yeah. Well, I just realized that they say slug zombies, so they're probably going to make it's slug cowboys. Yeah. Slug. What does it stand for? Whatever. Scary little ugly guys. Well done. I mean, our OMFG. I'm not, I'm out, not that scared, but our OMFG, yeah. our outlandish minifigure guys. They match your shirt. That's good. So it's the same. And I mean, it's because Muscle started that. Right. Like muscle is an acronym for Mighty Underwear. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Slinging. Uh, M U S C. Uh, coming. See, late. Uh, well, everywhere. I don't know. Fucking. I, just, <laughs> I don't know what it means. What does Do it mean? Do you remember what it means? Uh, millions of unusual small, unusually small creatures lurking everywhere. Millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere. Okay, you win. <laughs> See that. That. see that see that kids now that's commitment part of that's wrong <laughs> and i know that but that's fine with me i know the zombie one um, i'll buy it our zombie was called it was zombie but it was zillions of mutated bodies infecting everyone so you know every not a rip off a tribute that tribute. Well, that's why we did it mm -hmm. i mean ours was like this, that was our passion that was my passion when i was a kid i collect muscle i have them all in the i other room. saw that um i still have the poster it's in the passion. other room it's like that was something i loved <laughs> Yeah, I loved them too. So when we did Zombie, we you know that's one of our things is like we need to come up with an acronym. We need to right. have that. And it's our friend Polly Ann, yeah. our friend Polly Ann helped us come up with that. Yeah. And uh, you know it's part of the middle of you. So it's it's cool that they're fancy, doing this, and I I don't mind these as much doing like if they're if someone else is going to do zombies like we said when we reviewed the last ones that kind of ripped us off. If you're going to do it, at least do it different wow. or better. This is different and better. And these are different and better. I like. I love this cartoony kind of style of like. They these have a are lot of detail. A little more muscle men, a little bit more cartoony than ours. Not the same exact thing that we're doing. And they also they they are they're they're tongue in cheekly sort of aware of like where this originates from. Yeah. Yeah. You know they're not trying to like reinvent the wheel or anything. They're just. And that big package you just opened the tombstone yeah. that you get twelve figures in. That's eleven bucks. And these are less 11 than that. Bucks, so, you get, yeah. so you can get that with 11, or these ones have three in there. And they're three bucks. They're, they're a buck three, a piece. So. I mean, that's the price they should be. It's yeah. awesome. And uh, the only problem is to get the entire set, there's 16 in the set. They get 12 in here. Ah. And then to get the whole set, I think Crackett on the forum figured out, he made a chart we could show. Oh, great. And it's got, you have to buy all three of the four packs, or all four of the three packs, and one of these, but then you end up with eight doubles. So it's kind of shitty that there's eight doubles. Why do you need those eight doubles if they're always going to be the same fucking doubles? Because there's four guys in the twelve pack that you can't get in the four pack in the three packs. Right. So to collect them so all, you, you need to, to get, get one of every pack. And apparently, the Mike Tyson one is the hard one to get. They really knew what they were doing when I'm they packaged them. Fucking sick of chase pieces, man. Yeah. So no I chase uh, suck lord. Well, I don't chase shit. It comes to me, but. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, sometimes it just seems it's so deliberate, you know, like, oh, we rigged this game so obviously to make you buy the same shit twice. Yeah. You know, it's not even... Not even in, like, a different color or, like... Yeah, just like this. I don't know. I mean, I'm guilty of doing the Look same type of thing here and there. It just but... disappears up against your shirt. Yeah, you should... You could key this... Sh you could key out my shirt and all these figures if you wanted to, right? <laughs> totally. Like, I can have a whole... Sh like the size of this guy on my head. All right, let's move on. There's a lot to talk about. All right. There's more. These are okay, but whatever. Do you want to bring out something that you brought? You, yeah. You brought, said you brought some stuff? Yeah, I've got a couple of things out in the streets today. Sweet. I've got two things. First, of, first I got this um, oh, these are gonna this be really cool things, car set called Sport Rally. <laughs> I love the simplicity of the package. It's like, I just saw that. It was like 75 cents. And I was free like, rolling wheels. Free rolling wheels. Free rolling wheels, and it's made by Rhinoceros Company. <laughs> and I just love the way they didn't, they just, I mean, the dynamic racing lines and just. Hold, <laughs> hold on, before I show this. Warning, this item is not for babies. <laughs> Recommended only for children 60 months and over. <laughs> 60 That's like months? 
five fun. and a half years or something like that. <laughs> five years old. Five years old. Who does months? Why do they do months at, when you get to 60 by that point? Like... Yeah, it's retarded, but I <laughs> like amazing. that. I mean, these, I'm not going to lie, these really suck, but it's so. <laughs> but that's the point. I, I mean, this and look is, at the colors, they're like. They're Dago, I bet these pop under black light. I don't oh, know, I just, awesome. I just think these are terrific. Oh, made in China, that's news. Um, and then I found this. I think this is a really interesting idea. This is, um, it's this new toy line, um, called Transformers. And Trans Transformers. Formers. And apparently they're, um, two-in-one robots. And there's, they do something. I mean, I don't want to take this out of the package and ruin it, but, uh, it sounds apparently, like it's apparently it's some sort of robot force. And I think, uh, I think there's going to be like a movie and a, a movie and a, movie about it it's a two and run robot troop yeah there it is i mean i don't know wow. i was walking around the, the toy district today that's where is i that got Tamaya? this that logo yeah, yeah it looks like it i mean <laughs> or it's I, a knockoff I, logo i cannot believe i mean we were walking around the toy district there downtown la right and just there was amazing store place. after store after store of just this Seriously. shit i mean just utter shit I cannot believe that there's entire factories dedicated to pumping out this garbage. It's so bad. I mean, how do they make money? Every single one of those stores is just dead empty. There's like a little Chinese lady sitting there amongst these walls of just wretched, wretched garbage, all knockoffs, and it's so poorly made, and there's so much of it, and it's so cheap. How do they make money? How much did you pay for that? A buck. That's how they no, made two money. Bucks. But how who, the person Who's that going there? the person that made it, the factory that made it, how much did they make get? I don't. Fifty cents not for even. it to be two dollars at the quarter. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I cannot believe it, but it must be profitable because there's so much of it, and it just never ends. And I just we can't move believe to it. China. We've got so to cheap. find factories that make this kind of bullshit. Do uh, you think you can? You speak for yourself, because <laughs> I don't want my stuff that I make to be this quality. Ever. I'd be into something like this. I would. I mean... Maybe we should talk. Think, <laughs> I Sorry, think it's worth, try, it's worth trying. It's just worth trying. Why not? Why not? Anyway. It they must have to... What they must made, make thousands and what thousands of these. What if you made these, buckets of these, buys though? thousands That of little those. old Chinese Wait, lady. You buy but who does she sell these? them to? She's the wholesaler. She's wholesaling it. I mean, it's like... I mean, by the look of this, like... by the look of the dust that's on this, I don't think she's selling many of them. But there's so, but that store has to stay in business. I I don't know. It's the drug cartel running out of the back. That's yeah. I don't know how. Keeping I, in business. Dude, I question that kind of stuff. Those stores like that. I question half the stores on the street. I'm questioning the street. it right now, and it's not answering. And I thought you would know. I, dude, there's a fishing store a block and a half from here. No, I don't that's know a where you even that is go a fishing. fishing. Least, well, that that's different. At least that's it's like quality fishing gear. That's the worst toy ever. That's if true. Kid, if you gave that to a kid, the kid would die. <laughs> I'm cry, afraid of what's going to happen to me because I own that. <laughs> Robot truth. I just truth. can't believe it okay, exists. Okay, but George, what he, what Suckler's saying is oh, like, I get it. picture bringing buckets of these, like, original Sucklord creations to, like, designer con. Yeah. I mean, maybe and not everyone could get away with it. And it 25 cents. You could get away with it. Yeah. And it costs you 50 cents to make it. And I can charge 20 bucks for it. Exactly. And Why are you gonna like, be hey, a dick? So Charge cheap. two dollars like the Chinese lady. <laughs> Why do you gotta be a dick? You just asked me that. <laughs> Let's move on. Keep me more toys. Here's something the exact opposite end of that spectrum. It, it right, could cool. not be more opposite. Could not be more opposite than that. Oh, that's nice. That's well made. Do we get to open this? Yeah, we're gonna open it right oh, now. Oh, sweet. This is a uh, X-ray SpongeBob know. DX set. What made that? Secret Base. Can't fuck with Secret Base. And the, the other artist is on the... Uh, Dorat? Dorat. Dorat.net. Dorat.net. Dorat. Dorat. Is that right? And Toy Art Gallery. Oh. Cool. So before we get into the, the details, <laughs> let's take a look at the figure. Five um, inch vinyl. It's funny because when I saw it in the package, I thought it was ABS. But it's not. It's soft vinyl. But what's inside it also vinyl? Yeah. So it's basically two figures. Is this I mean, this thing extend all the way to the? It does, as far as I can tell by looking it's in supposed there. Supposed to be hard to make. 
How much would you pay for a quality, fine quality product? I would that? never ever buy this, but if you gave it to me, I'd take it. Right, but if you were to buy, if you were to put, if you had to put a if price I, on it, not if I. What I think this could, you could probably get away with selling this for like eighty-five bucks or something. How right? about one hundred and eighty-five dollars? One hundred and eighty-five. Well, um, yeah, I mean, how many did they make? This is Japanese violin. Uh, I don't Japanese have a. Violin. How many do you think they? Make? Yeah, sure, I guess. Size. It's and it's licensed. You get a T-shirt. It, it is licensed, I think. I mean, I mean, Nickelodeon is on the back. That's of a lot of money for a piece of vinyl. But, but it's not, a high quality. Yeah, it's pretty high Japanese, quality. Japanese, yeah. clear, gorgeous. Crystal yeah, no, clear. it's really well done. I personally am not a SpongeBob fan, but who cares? It's well, it's yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, especially that's probably they probably didn't make thousands of those, right? No, it's a couple hundred. I'm sure, yeah, or 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 fewer. Yeah, no, a couple hundred at the most. Okay. Um, it's it's lunch, licensed by Spon uh, Nickelodeon in Japan because it does have the SpongeBob.jp. Oh, so I don't know what that means for bringing it over here and selling it. Like if a store sells it here, but it is licensed in Japan. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome that yeah. that's an official SpongeBob that has a skeleton inside. Yeah, like, no, that's it's pretty like, awesome. You can't fuck with that. Let me start off by saying it's cool, but can I also say mm -hmm. like, how many things can we make with? I don't mean we, but like we as a community make with half a skeleton. That's yeah, a thing. It's, Everybody it's a loves it. By now, like, is it like is it becoming like zombies? Uh, no, no. It's not as bad as zombies. Well, yet. Well, I mean, zombies goes beyond just the so-called toy scene. I mean, it's like in popular culture in general, it's That's like true. sick with zombies. I mean, half skeleton things aren't. You know, it depends on what the skeleton is. Aren't I there mean, yet? It is when something you start that like Jason Freeney shirts. It's a thing. Target. It is something that Secret Base does notice. though too. I mean, they yeah. they no, do that true. a lot. So it's true. Oh no, I'm not saying it's bad. I like the figure. I want these. I want these figures that are you want drawn. Patrick? I want this the punk SpongeBob on the front. And Does the punk that Patrick. exist? No, I don't think That's so. That's amazing. Those are cool though. Yeah. Look at his nose. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I think this thing. Well, it's funny. I was talking to uh, Super Cooper in the in the gallery when we got this the other day. The Super Cooper. And uh, his he was like. Did you have to pay for that? Uh, it, ben Ben was able to uh, Ben just got this for the show oh ben for us to uh oh, review so yes we did ben did mm. thank um, you ben thank you ben <laughs> yeah good looking at well that's cool ben was able to get this for the show for us to review um but cooper noticed and the thing that he said that he didn't like it because of he's like the eye doesn't match the skull for the eye doesn't line up with the eye of the thing that's he's like either they're the teeth yeah that's true if you're going to go through all that trouble, why not make it work? That's a good observation. It does kind of look like one artist did the inside skull, one artist did the sponge. That's a good observation. Uh, and if I was going to be picky, um, I would like the arms to move. I think so, too. I mean, the leg moves, and it's satisfying seeing the bone turn in there, and then I want to move the arm, and, and alas, I cannot. Yes, true. And, uh, <laughs> I agree with that. And there should be a bone in the nose. Why not? Hundred eighty five dollars bone in the nose. It should be a bone in the nose. I mean, nose. whatever, I'm not gonna well, totally got... there was just leave it. Forty two. Um, there it was. So we have two one two last Did you things? mention you can only get that at tag? Yes, Toy Art Gallery, uh go I think it's toyartgallery.com, is that right? Yes. Uh, yeah, check it out there. Um, while you're looking at pictures of the Bellico show, you can pick up one of those. And the last thing for review on this episode. I wore my shirt. Are you a in fan? Honor of. Of what? The Evil Dead? Of the yeah. Evil Dead. Yeah. I s did not realize that these were going to be available widely in stores like Toys R Us. So I sil sillily pre-ordered them from Big Bag Toy Store, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I used to buy my Zevos from Big Bag Toy Store. Yeah? Yeah. Just I actually like Big Bag Toy Store a lot. Yeah. They delivered my Zevos. <laughs> yeah. I so hate these big plastic packs. NECA made these figures. They are seven inch action figures. There's This is series one. There's two different ashes. There's also going to be a series two with another ash and the, uh, oh, what the heck's her name? Henrietta. Evil Dead 2. One of my teachers in college worked on the Henrietta puppet. I think I've said that on the show cool. before. Cool, this one has the hand, the severed hand. Yeah, right, and this one's got Linda's head. Yeah, you open it. Oh, god damn. Right? God, this was a fucked up scene in the movie. And the tape recorder. Yeah. These are great accessories. Yeah. For Ash figures. I, I've been a big Evil Dead fan for. And this is this is cool. I don't necessarily go out for these sort of hyper real sort of 
film, cult film replica toys, but if I was going to, I would say that these were pretty dope. I don't usually go necessarily for the just anything, but I happen to be an Evil Dead fan, so right. it was really cool to see, especially because they've made, McFarlane they've did... They've made several versions of Evil Dead, haven't they? Yeah, McFarlane made uh, a couple different ashes, but they've never done... Ooh, the shredded, accessories like the this. shredded pants. Yeah, the accessories are key. The shredded pants are pretty dope. Oh, man. What's like, the name? This Necronomicon is pretty weak. Weak? Yeah, it's tiny and like. It shriveled. should be a little bigger and a little bit more relief on it. But yeah. hey, at least we have a it's toy it's Necronomicon. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I got that. Ne cool. Necrocomicon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Necrocomicon. Let's right. have that at Comic Con. Yeah, the Necrocomicon. Look at this Linda head. That's awesome. They look must at the have hair. one of those Necrocomicons. That's pretty cool. I like that this one comes with the alternate cut-off hand or <laughs> the possessed hand. Yeah, you can totally. But wait, who the else is in this series besides Ash figures? So there's another Ash. Well, you already said this, and I'm too stoned it's okay. to. And Henrietta. <laughs> What's the name of the floating ball thing? The Beholder. What is that thing that chases oh, him? That's what Henrietta turns into. That thing. That, I don't know that, that it has, thing that have a separate fucking name. Chases him. You know. I mean, that's Henrietta. Like Does it have a separate name? Oh, that weird floating sphere that yeah. chases him around. That's Henrietta? Well, it, it's what? not a sphere. It's a long neck. It's that thing that he's chasing him, and he's always slamming the doors, you know? And it looks like the Beholder from Dungeons & Dragons. Am I bugging out? I don't even know what that is. I've only seen this movie a couple times. Oh, though. well, never mind. At the end, Aileen's she turns into fan. this big, like, crazy animal with this, like, ten-foot neck. No, he's talking about something What's different. He talking? He's talking it's closer to the beginning of the movie where he's running away and there's this thing oh. chasing him. He's slamming the doors. He's slamming the doors and you know you never really, and you only really see what it is once and it looks like this weird eyeball head thing floating like a beholder from D&D. &D. Am I just tripping I here? I think so. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. Whatever. It sounds like a good movie, though. The figures are cool. Whatever. There's a lot of detail put into these figures. A lot of paint. Yeah, well. It's got a tight ass. <laughs> well, let's line it up. Eh. It's not bad, right? <laughs> eh. Well, I am a big fan of these figures. They're about 15 bucks. Uh, I know Scott found one of them at Toys R Us, so you don't have to rely on going solely online. You can support a toy store, even though it's Toys R Us, our last toy store left in the world. I was at Toys R Us today. How was it? Did you like it? Yeah, I had a good time. I bought a few things. <laughs> I was really good. stoned. Uh, yeah, well, I bought some masks. I bought like a Wolverine and Iron Man mask for, from Superhero Squad, you know, just... Oh, that, that stuff's so cool. Yeah, I love... Yeah, what? Superhero Squad? Yeah. yeah. I like all that shit. Uh, the Lego was looking ridiculous. I mean, that space... What are this... What's the new space series Alien called? Conquest. The one, the giant saucer, the one that with Spins, the... Spins, yeah. Oh, fuck. I mean, it looks so good. The Millennium Falcon. Have you seen that? Yeah. And then the, 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 the Republic cruiser i mean it's so they're so big and they have so many panels and just like it's so much fucking legos it's amazing it's fucking beautiful and they have them in those display cases playmobil you can see find playmobil at toys r us they didn't always have playmobil at toys yeah they got a like big a aisle, aisle of it yeah. yeah now they got the big island they had the spy the spy set set up did they have a, like a, a girl line ridiculous. of playmobil yeah, the they have tons too? of them. Well, the blind, no, the bags, blind bags. The blind oh. bags come in boy and girl. Yeah, there's a girl set with like princesses yeah. and stuff. They right? specifically I just separated it, it for some reason. Is that all the yeah. shit we're gonna review? That's what That's we got. Just at the end of the show. How Pretty long have we been going? Have, eh, about forty-five minutes. Well, I mean, should we just talk about what's going on in the toy scene, or does yeah. anyone give a fuck? Yeah, let's talk about it. Somebody has to. They keep watching our show. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's just like, what do you think? What What's going on? What's going on in the toy industry? Uh, everything's getting more expensive to make overseas, yeah. which sucks. Um, there's a lot of new laws that have been passed in China that mm -hmm. have actually increased workers' wages in factories, which is great Fuck for workers. Fuck them. But sucks for manufacturers. I'm kidding. No, no. It's I mean, about fucking time that that shit happens. Absolutely. But now that comes back to the cost to the consumer. You know, I mean, pennies, you pennies, pennies, pennies. Yeah, you see it across the board all the way down to, you know, if you go to the action figure aisle and you look, almost everything's three and three quarter. Yeah. Like four inches max. And then the Not big stuff. Figures. No, I mean, the big stuff, like NECA's a holdout, man. And they are just making this giant stuff. But it's 16 to 20 bucks a figure. That's mm -hmm. fucking cheap. I mean, it, it what is. if you had to make that? Oh, yeah. It's out of control. 
But I mean, that's when you say that's cheap. If you think back a few years when McFarlane was doing, you know, the first, when they were the big guys making big figures, they were seven ninety nine. Yeah. Now a three and three quarter, you know, GI Joe is nine ninety nine. So and it's, it's twenty two dollars. The prices, for the, the prices Masters are going of the Universe, up. and that's for yeah. Mattel. Ten bucks for a GI Joe figure, I think, is fine. Yeah. I mean, these are luxury items. Oh, I'm not saying Absolutely. it's bad. I'm just saying that you have to keep that in mind when you're buying these stuff, and especially when you're We're buying designer to make toys. The well, I know, man. It's tough. It's tough to make. It's tough to make stuff right now. I feel bad that's saying this. Not, we just... Well, is that going to change? What no. are people doing in response to this turn? This unfortunate turn of events. Casting up Casting stuff. Casting more resin. resin. The problem that with that has is, its limits as well. I was gonna say the problem with that is you have to charge. If if you're gonna make money doing that, you gotta charge a lot. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, I know that, and it's like you can only make so many, and there's only so much you could do with resin. You'd be hard pressed to make that in resin casting yourself Absolutely. with yeah, all the articulation wouldn't... and shit like that. You'd never pull no. it off. And the paint job. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah, you'd fucking kill yourself, you know, before you got fucking enough. It's ridiculous. So what are we supposed to do? That's a very good question. I mean, I'm getting sick of pouring my own resin. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's like... I think anybody who has poured their own resin is already sick of pouring Yeah, and I can't stop doing it because it's still <laughs> a major portion of my income. And it's just like... But, you know, it's like the more I, I come up against the limits of it all the time. You know, I want to try something new, but I can't afford the time and the effort, you know. Because you got to pay rent. It's tough, you know. And it's like, I mean, I've been, Chinese resin seems to be like the way to go these days. It seems like a lot more people are doing that, right? Would you say? I, I'm okay with Chinese yeah. resin. We've I mean, done it. I mean, look at, I mean, there's companies like Sideshow that may, have been making resins forever. And right. The, the, you can get just as high quality having China do it as you can doing it yourself. How do they do it? How does, like, because, I mean, we, I made my only Chinese resin to date right now is the most recent gay empire figure. It's just the generic gay empire right. figure. And they're just slugs, you know. They're resin slugs, you right. know, made, you know. But, like, I, they, they look pretty clean and pretty consistent. And I know it's like, and we made a thousand of them. I know when I'm making my figures, I get all kinds of crazy seam lines. Uh, my molds give out. I have to make many, many molds. If I had to make a shitload of molds, a shitload of molds to like get a thousand pieces, how do they do it? What's their Same. process? Same thing. They just make those stupid silicone molds. I mean, I, and some asshole is sitting there just pouring them all manually. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not. There's. It's not as automated as people think. Like it I know, is, but it must definitely... be a little bit more automated. Or they must be using a better silicone or something like that. I mean, th how many shots do you get out of your? What kind of silicone do you use? I. Uh, GI 1000, I think it's called. Oh, right, like that. yeah, yeah. It's the that's, regular... that's, that's pretty standard, yeah. you know, industrial shit. But how many shots do you get out of a mold before it starts we... to fail on you? You can get 30 or 40 before you start to get it. I think, like, that's about right. I think some of our projects have gotten, what did they say? They get like 100 or 150 out of one mold? Yeah, something, something like, that. like that. Using what kind of material? That I don't, I know it's a silicone well, mold. So, I don't so know what think kind. about that versus a thousand figures. You right. know, yeah. how many molds do the math? How many molds do you need? But to I mean, make you're, molds you're also that thinking. Silicone's expensive. I mean, how the fuck do they. Are you they sure make the they don't have some secret? Dude, well, you're thinking there's one, one guy in a mold. Well, you no, gotta it's think a, there's ten guys in a mold and they're pouring so, it. So whenever I'm sitting there slinging this bullshit, yeah. wanting to kill myself, over there there's like ten of me doing it, yeah. at least. Yeah. And then there's another 10 of I, you who's just cleaning up seam lines so that they don't have seam lines. I on feel it. guilty for unleashing that much misery. In the <laughs> <world>. <laughs> but you got to think, though, that's not misery. That's a job that they can do. If they didn't have that job... But they're getting paid fuck-ass to do it. They're well, getting now they're paid... getting paid that pl fuck-ass plus 20%. <laughs> it's worth paying for it, man, obviously. I, I mean, my... my if you don't like it, don't buy it. But shit, man, people who bitch about how much this shit costs don't know fucking anything. Yeah. But it's I mean, true. and you're not. You, people think about it like, oh, these poor people in China that are pouring in our fact. Well, you know what? It's a good job. The factory jobs in China are good jobs. They well, fight for those relatively jobs. speaking. Well, and it's a different economic system than we necessarily have. Me, yeah. I you mean, know, things cost different. The different style of living. They can help support their whole family by one guy getting a factory job. But to for what a, standard a of living? Well, are we supposed to impose our standards of living on? Everybody I'm not else? saying impose it. I'm sure they would love it I mean, if I we know. imposed it on them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. I don't. What the fuck do I know? I know. I know. Working in a factory in China is no fucking breezy, fun, you know, chilling lifestyle. It's a no. But working in a factory in America isn't either. But there's plenty of people that support their families doing that too. Yeah. So how less and less these days, but <laughs> yeah, nobody's really working in factories. I don't know. I mean, 
Somebody's got to make cars. Somebody's got to make stuff. Yeah, you're right. If there were a way to do it here, the problem is there's so many laws against ev- all the materials yeah. we use in the U.S. Got the lighter. That you can't do it here. Like you well, can't make a paint that sure stays on. That? Like what you, about monster color? I mean, that monster color is great, but that stuff is toxic as shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sure it's not OSHA state out to California standards. I mean, I don't know. I'm Are not sure. sure. No, blow I'm not sure. But has he, has it been tested by OSHA in California? Well, Can that I come I out here? I don't see that on the label. Exactly. Yeah. The one thing the label says is make sure you use a fucking ventilation Adequate mask. Adequate ventilation yeah. and a mess. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> but I mean, that's for everything. I wear a respirator. What? So, well... What? So what the fuck are we gonna do then? What's the twiners are you gonna do? I mean, it's in the. F- we find a good factory in Mexico. We find out how much it costs to make stuff in porcelain. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to throw out some ideas here. What do you think about making like a resin factory here in America? I think it'd be amazing. Could could it be done? Um. Yeah. Pretty in plastic. Julie I mean, B. She's a resident. Yeah, I was, that was the next thing I was going to say. <laughs> you, you're, the, prices, the prices will will show accordingly to what it is. But, but yeah. But do you think it's possible? I mean, maybe this is not a perfect example, but like American Apparel, you mm-hmm. know, they're making t shirts and shit in America and they're paying a decent wage, I guess. You know, I mean, couldn't that say, and it somehow works and it's a profitable company, couldn't that also be with like toy manufacturing? Or is it. I, I think it's certainly possible. I don't see why not. It's just a matter of somebody taking the risk and going for it. Yeah, and that's not... I don't know. So I don't think there's a a winning answer to this question right now. Winning. There is for me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, question, the answer is, you, I mean, you really have to just work your ass off, market yourself out there, and build your fan base up to people who want to buy from you. Yeah, and I make mean, shit that they like. If you can, well, like you were saying, too, on uh, you were just on the You Heard show. I was. Episode 10. Yeah. You were saying something like creating a modest enterprise. Some, like, uh, you know, if you have enough fans, build up a little following of a few thousand fans, that can support you. Yeah, it can support you. Somewhere in between artist and company. And yeah, yeah, that's true. But I like on, that idea. I yeah, I, li- I like that idea too, but then, you know, it still needs to get bigger. I mean, the best thing to do is get into making, I mean, get yourself into the, the point where you're licensing your stuff out to someone else get to the point where someone wants to make a show of your characters or something, you know, you're, then you got a, you got a cartoon going, you get a comic book going, you get a movie deal seven years down the line. Yeah, you get sure, the, of course. That's, that's I mean, OMG cartoon, who doesn't yeah, want to see Yeah, that? no, of course. I mean, you'd be, I, I of course, that's my, my, my major, major goal is to do that kind of shit, you know, yeah. but at the same time, you have, to, I still want to, div- I, I would like to also come up with some sort of hybrid, you know, scenario with that like where yeah I'm, i have shows on tv i have ips that are out there in the world right. that i do license you know but i'm also still have a strong manufacturing and production arm for my company going so see even if i do have a fucking show on x channel whatever i'm also a licensor of that i'm making my own shit right. i'm still making toys based That'd on my idea. show you know and i'm doing retail on it you know and it's like you know, that's maybe that doesn't work. I mean, maybe that wouldn't work because I don't know really that. I don't know who. How, I don't know if that's the, even happened before. I'm sure it has, and I'm just too stupid and ignorant and narrow to know. But I'm just saying, for me, I think it's important, like, to constantly be doing retail on anything you're making or generating. Well, sure, it's happened. Hasn't hasn't companies like Mattel? I mean, isn't that what He Man was when it started? It was a cartoon. They were doing all the manufacturing and production, and and then they put the selling cartoon. it out. It was, but there was no Mattel store where you could buy the shit, was there? Right, no. No, I see what you're saying. No, it had to go to Toys R Us and yeah. KB, that kind of There's thing. There's always an in-between. Yeah. KB, remember the name? And Mattel the didn't numbers, produce you... the show either. Right. Right, I see what you're saying. Like, what if... I mean, maybe the, your company produces the show, does the manufacturing, and the selling of it. As long as you can get your numbers up to where... I mean, if you were doing... If, if we were doing huge numbers on this... Like an actual, you know, old Mattel numbers or something like that, and you're 10, making 10,000 pieces. pieces, then who cares if you're only selling wholesale because you're still yeah. making the money. Yeah, that's true. But if you're only selling 200 of something. Yeah, of course. That's obvious. That's just obvious, you know, so, business one on one. It's, it's like, not, though. Some the, people. The more you sell, the less you have to charge for. I not necessarily for it. think about that. Well, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> it's there like, you no, go. Com, buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way. 
<laughs> Incidentally, I have something for sale. So, uh, Please go buy it. All right, well, this is a good conversation, and I think we should uh, continue it over dinner. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Which means, since we can't take you guys to dinner with us, that that is the end of episode 210. Thank you so much, Super Sucker, for a being good on time. the show. I hope I wasn't too rambly and annoying. No, I mean, just the normal amount. Okay. <laughs> That's all, I, that's all I was worried about. Don't forget, you can save money with coupon codes from Toy Break online at several different places. You can get all the details in the show notes at toybreak.com. And uh, you can get links to everything we talk about, psychedelic.com, OMFG, all those weird goodies that we had on the show. You can watch past episodes at toybreak.com. It's, it's, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's a virtual wonderland. Virtual. See, it's virtual because on the computer. Meaning it's not really real. It's almost real. It seems real. That's what you. Exactly, that's yeah. what you say. That's what you mean when you say virtual. Exactly. Okay. There is no wonder. <laughs> uh, so don't forget to donate while we're speaking of all this money. That's how you can help us out. All the money you saved with the coupon code. Don't go ahead and donate it. Uh, call and leave us a voicemail, 818-AM-I-GOOD. <laughs> Email us, info at toybreak.com. Keep up with us on Facebook, facebook.com slash toybreak. Uh, check out us out on YouTube. You can watch this episode, past episodes, all of our briefs. Aileen does a lot of Lego videos over there. I do. More coming. I think Ooh. that might be splitting into a separate channel. Oh, look at that. YouTube.com slash Toy Break. You can follow us all on Twitter. I'm at George Gaspar. At Aileen Gaspar. I'm at Sucklord. No super or anything in there? Just regular no. old? Simple. At Sucklord. All right. He's more casual on Twitter. It just makes it easier for people. It's only 140 characters. And you characters. only have so much room to type. It just makes it easier for people. <laughs> That's nice of you thinking of your not, fans. I just the more fans I have, the more revenue I generate. So I don't want to make it too obtuse. The accessing. Gotcha. Fantastic. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, if you don't mind, since you are our guest, but now third time, so you're a regular. Would you like to take us out with it? And now here's your toy break. And now here's your toy break. <laughs>